and welcome to this extension video on calculating density using a U-shaped tube plus water. Now, we mentioned during class that uh, if we have a U-shaped tube and we pour some water into it, then it will sit at a level. And we also said that if we pour something in one side of it, then it will displace that water. And how much it displaces that water tells you something about its density or the pressure that it's given, which is a product of its density. So here we have a U-shaped tube with some displaced water. Uh, the water is represented by the blue section. Then, the liquid in this instance is oil, which is displacing it. It could be any substance that we want to test for, and indeed the water could be any substance as well. We often use uh, mercury uh, to make these measurements. But this is a simple version with, with water. So uh, the oil is represented by this orange column here. So if we just label this oil and water, Notice they don't mix because oil and water do not mix. The relevance of this line will become obvious in just a couple of moments, but this is how we define the height of the oil column, uh, which I will call HO, and this is the height of the water columns, HO and HW. So HO is the height of the oil column, and HW is the height of the water column. Now this line. This goes back to the rule that the pressure along a horizontal line in a liquid is constant. So along that line the pressure is being is constant on both sides of it pushing down into that U-shape. So we can say that the pressure from the oil is equal to the pressure given by the water using the uh, pressure equation for a column of liquid. We can then say that the height of the oil multiplied by the density of the oil multiplied by gravity is equal to the equivalence from the water. We can get rid of gravity straight away, gravitational field strength that is, to make the simplified version of the equation there. Dividing by HW gives us this version, and then moving it around again gives us a nice ratio. Uh, ratio HO to HW is equal to rho W over rho O. And uh, that gives us the density of oil. And that's because we know the height of the oil column, we know the height of the water column, and uh, we also know the density of water, which is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. During your GCSE, you'll also come across lots of different versions of the, uh, of the density of water. Uh, one kilogram per litre, one kilogram per decimeter, uh, one gram per centimeter cubed, one gram per milliliter. That you may remember from the density of uh, required practical. Anyway, I hope this helps and thank you very much for watching. Okay, bye.